Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch. Today we're going to continue the ongoing free game development resources list over on Dev Game. And this one is all about um, free stuff for, for game development, be it tools or textures or models, you name it. That's what we cover on here. So as you can see, we've covered a number of different categories right now in the list. And of course, I will link this down below along with the category we are covering today. But in the past, we've covered things like 2D applications, 3D applications, 3D game engines, uh, 2D game resources, 3D game resources, animation tools, IDEs, text editors, and then today's entry is voxel applications. Now, it's actually a fairly small entry because there's not really a ton of them out there, free uh, voxel editors, and there's one that just seems to really be winning the race. But uh, we're going to look at a couple of options. We've got about a half dozen different options. And, of course, the link is down below when you're interested. Now, you may be wondering all about this whole voxel thing, and you may think, okay, what is a voxel? And first off, you can think of a voxel as a 3D pixel. Um, it, it's a volumetric pixel, and they're really commonly used in things like uh, CAT scans, MRI, that kind of technology for 3D imaging. But they were used in game development way back. Uh, there was a company called Nova Logic that really went hard with voxels, but probably the most famous modern example is Minecraft. But as you can see from the collection of images in front of you, these things don't have to look like uh, big blocky pixels like on Minecraft. It's a very unique style, and there are some really awesome works done out there. And this is using one of the applications on the list that we will see in just a second. So what exactly do we have here? Well, again, here is the list of voxel applications, and we're going to go through each of the entries one by one, starting right now. So the first one we've got is probably the most popular and possibly the best one, and that is Magic of Voxel. Now, I actually mentioned this in the 3D application site, and I don't feel bad about measuring it or mentioning it twice, because Magic of Voxel is amazing 3D software, and I highly recommend you check it out if you haven't already. Available on Windows and Mac OS, it is completely and utterly free. Uh, no commercial license is required, though they do appreciate crediting. It just has, it's, it's the king in this case. So if you are looking for a voxel application, you can probably start here and end here if you so wished. Magic of Voxel is that good. Now I've actually done a video on it and you'll notice if I have done a video about things, I will mention it in the description. So if you want to learn more about Magic of Voxel, I got you covered. So after Magic of Voxel, we got another one that I covered in the past, and this is 3D Slash. Now this is available web and download. Um, it's got a commercial version at $2 a month or a limited color version that you can use for free. You can kind of see the it in action right now. The whole idea behind it is it is a super, super simple voxel editor. So maybe if you're working with children or um, you just find something like Magic of Voxel too complicated or you just need to get like a simpler look and a simpler result, uh, this could be a good choice for you. So that's 3D Slash, and as I said, I've already actually done a video on this one. So next up, we have Goxel. Now, Goxel is probably the most commonly used after Magic of Voxel. I've never actually really used it myself, to be honest, but it is an open source 3D Voxel editor available for Mac, Windows, and Linux. Now, the cool thing is, again, there is source code available. It is available up on GitHub. Um, all the links will be available for you. People really like this guy. I honestly don't have a whole lot of experience with it. The nice thing is like this, like with Magic of Voxel, you can export as OBJ, which is the Wavefront um, standard format for 3D files. Um, and it's supported by pretty much every single engine and or editing software out there in a very reliable way. So uh, you can export in a couple of different formats, but OBJ is pretty much common between those two applications. Uh, so next up, we have Black Flux Software. Where's Voxel Shop? Uh, available completely for free. It's on Windows, Mac, and Linux. It is also up on source code for GitHub. Um, it's got some cool, unique features such as skeletal animation. You won't find that, I don't think, in any other ones. Uh, you've got textured voxels, as you can see right there. We do have exporting uh, in different formats. This one actually supports in Collada format, which is a very uh, I guess we'd say heavy, but commonly supported 3D file format. Uh, that's one of the standards for, um, there's Collada and there's uh, Filmbox or FBX. Collada was an open standard. That's actually the default format right now for the Godot engine. Uh, but Collada is very commonly supported, especially among all the most popular 3D model applications you're going to find out there. Um, multiple perspectives, various different tools available. Uh, you got layering support and much more. Now this is donation based software. So once again, it is available for free. The source code is out there and it is available across most of the platforms you would probably be looking for. And again, this one actually it runs on Java. Um, so that's why you can actually support it on these platforms. You can probably get it running on more as a result simply because 
that's the nature of Java. Um, so that is that one. Uh, next up, we have Sproxel. I include Sproxel pretty much just to be complete, uh, because as you can see from the news update, the last version was in 2012. It is a very straightforward, very, very, very simple and streamlined uh, 3D voxel. The, the name Sproxel comes from Sprite Voxel Editor. As you can see, this is about as minimalist as it gets. Now, the fact that a lot of you people out there seem to like, you know, trying to do games entirely using paint. So sometimes that restricted amount of access is useful so I, uh, I I included it here so again it's free it's downloadable and it is horribly out of date but realistically for a simple tool it doesn't really need to be updated it could still be useful so if you are going for minimalism Sproxel may be your thing uh, next up we have used cubes now I, I included it on here I probably shouldn't to be honest it's actually kind of neat software it's entirely web-based so for example I can come in here we can go ahead and start designing and you see you start with a cube and you're basically extruding so you pick a side of the cube and you click oh sorry you drag and then you create a new voxel as a result you can do that in various different directions so drag up drag out and you can color them so come up here brush pick a color and then we can you know basically go into paint mode and you just basically draw your images that way and if we go back here to the use cubes page You'll notice if we go into Explorer, you can actually get some pretty nice effects out of this. So you can see some of the some of the choices they've highlighted. So you, you can get a good voxely effect out of it. Uh, the part that I found a little hesitant to recommend on this one is I didn't find any way to export as OBJ. So most of what I saw here is you can upload it to various different media accounts or as images, uh, but I didn't see a way to get it out in a 3D format. Now it might be possible and it might just be eluding me, so I decided to include use cubes on this list, but I don't think it's going to be immediately useful to too many people. Now once again, that is the extent of the voxel applications that I can find that are free. There are a couple of commercials one out there. And there's actually a couple of mobile ones. There's one free one for iOS and one free one for Android. And I couldn't decide if I should include those on this list or not. It kind of sends us down a new road. So I'm going to mostly make this, I think, about desktop software. So I decided not to include those as well. But if you have either mobile platform, do check the app stores out for both. There are some free options available on mobile as well. And also let me know comments down below if you think I should cover mobile tools alongside these or if that's just where I should make the separating line. And also, if you have a free voxel application recommendation that I absolutely missed from this list, please do let me know, and I will add it to the text version of this list that you see right here. And then in the, uh, the next year when I update these ones, I'll make sure that it makes the video as well. So that's it. That is a collection of voxel applications that are completely free to get started with. Uh, voxel art style, um, as you saw from like these image results, you can get some really cool effects. And since it's um, full 3D as opposed to pixels, you can also then you know rotate it around the world view. You can add dynamic lighting and so on. So it's a very versatile effect that you kind of get a pixel artish look with a little bit more power. And it's kind of like working with virtual Lego. So it's a very simple to, approach to take. So if you're looking for an art style, a voxel art's definitely one of the ones to consider checking out. Don't think of voxel simply as being Minecraft, because uh, that's not really the case. All right, so that's it. Again, any additional recommendations you have, I would love to hear them in the comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.